It's been quite some time, too. Three games. It's the last time he appeared was 9:29 in the 5-3 loss. Four goals, five assists. He drives at the back line. He likes to extend it. He's very crafty with the ball at his feet. Mike Noonan back in there, 3-4-3. Three, three. Pop Marboy. Ball goes out. At least one college cup. In 21 of the last 22 seasons, the last three years they've had at least two teams in that final four. Harris drives it in on the doorstep, and it dinks around just barely. It's a heck of a ball, though. I mean, the the look by Brandon Parrish, this is what I've mentioned oh. to you so many times before. The ball itself is so good, not because of where he's trying to put it, meaning normally you want that ball in the air. Connecting, getting it to Diagostini. Oh, Diagostini still on it. Yes, Bonilla off the bar! I don't believe in his own mind that he thought this ball was going to make its way to him. Clever ball here by Kaczewski to let that go. Most players want to try and slide this through for themselves and get real tricky with it. When a man who's got nine assists knows exactly where everybody's going to be and it's interesting, the form, the way that he has to stretch for it, his body just starts to come back a little bit at the end of it. Even. The transfer from Tulsa, two-time American Offensive Player of the Year. Silla. Nothing doing. Might fall to Duquesne. It does! Deflected and it's in! Flag is down! And how about that from the sub from France? Arthur Duquesne, the quick transition the other way. But on the clearance, back out. Watch him try and get back into an onside position. I'm not necessarily sure he is. If he is, it's because Booster Hobert in the middle of that back three keeps him back on. But the touch, we said the entire time, regardless of where you're at on the field. Gabriel Makina had that shadow for Usman still in the midfield. And makina has gone back out to that right side as Silla started to flex. Kalukian right spilled! Oh, Joseph Andema smiling a little bit now. Keeps it a one goal game, played short, back to Richmond. Over to Duquesne, the goal scorer, he clips it in back post. He's got an option back there, headed down, pop our boy, flag up. He can do it all, let's be very clear about that, he can do it all, but notice as he just drifts, that's a lot closer than it looks. May have been the first ball offside. Has to, has to be. Duquesne, the goal scorer. Striding forward. Still Duquesne. Shoots it. Save Wickham. Still on it. Trying to get it back in the middle. Falls to Silla. Very good save by Jaheim Wickham. And coming back across. Doesn't necessarily know if this ball is going to be struck because you've also got. Gets it up, gets it down, it's in! Oh, what a beauty! And you can see why Vancouver took him in the third round of the MLS Super Draft last year, but he said, hold up, I'm staying at Cuse, run it back one more time. His second goal of the season. What's everybody to be smart on the restart? There's, I mean, you just sit here and there are times, less is more. Just watch poetry in motion, the way he hits it. Perfect amount of pace. Up, around, down. He wears the armband for a reason. Leads from back, now to front. There's the freshman on it now. Meinhard in some space. Does he give it a hit? Meinhard! Good save. That's really the first time. The idea behind him is just getting him better chances, and he catches it pretty true. Finds his compatriot in Jabe. Up top to Parrish. Parrish. He'll take a shot, and he's asking for a deflection, not going to get it. Can't believe it. They've sat Okanlola deeper, so Nate Edwards stays with him, and then a really good job by Brandon Parrish coming out of the midfield. We've seen some late activity and heroics on this SU field this year, multiple last-minute goals, but not today. 1-1. They will split the spoils. Devin Kerr, your final thought of what we saw here today.
I'd like to tip the hat to both coaches. That was fun.